All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a week of uh, competition, whether it's challengers, um, pro league, and e-days. Uh, first things first, I'll put a link in this in the this I I can't speak, but the link will be down in the the description down below. I don't know what the heck that was, but uh, you can speak again, everyone. Um, <coughs> You could sign up. I signed up. Just going to be for fun. Already three people. There's 64 spots left. So sign up as quickly as possible to get in for this major. <coughs> um, the prize pool, as you could see here, was uh, 3500 for first. Second is $1,500. Top four is 750 And top eight is $250. So... Again, you don't have to split that with anyone. It's 1v1s. You just shoot your gun, you know? So there's that. Um, and Pro League, PK's 4-0, Rise 4-0, Pioneers, Rebel 3-1, E United, and Abuelos 2-2. Two and two. Team Queso, Fury 1-1-3, one, one and, and Casta Papel and Hive 0-4. Oh um, so there's that. Uh, the Challenger Series, the uh, Defiance one, the first one, which we already know about. Uh, we'll go to the Challenger 2 uh, bracket. Uh, Defiance Day 1 by Forfeit against Tapi Tapayakas. I guess they just stopped playing, didn't want to play, so... When I do make my power rank, it's definitely going to have them on the lower end just for that. Like, you definitely want to keep playing if you're still in it. Um, Docile Gaming, they were called Tragedy. Um, B God and Reflame were a team with Ottens and Cardia, but Cardia did get picked up by Rebel due to the demon situation of him getting banned. So now you have this roster instead. Um, so Otten's got the short end of the stick for that. Uh, let's see here. False hitbox, solubles, and peers. They had a good run, to be honest, mid the semifinals. Hunters, don't tell me that's Osby and them. No. I don't know where they, if they even played hunting season. They signed up, but I guess didn't play. They just get the shittiest end of the stick of playing teams, to be honest. They probably just didn't even bother because of who they're playing against. It's probably, on paper, probably the second best team in Challengers. And they played, like, the first best team in Challengers first week. So they're just getting the shit end of the stick, uh, to be honest. But, hey, at least they have the rest of their Sunday. They don't got to worry about it. Um, yeah. That's about it. Uh, Challengers series. We'll see the point system. Defiance, uh, number one. Uh, there's still three other weeks left. I'm getting, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be uh, number one throughout the whole thing. This team, probably like top six. Um, just, I don't know. I honestly don't care. Uh, this is this whole team, this band, so... It's just unfortunate they can't save the same team with their points where they placed. RDMK probably going to be in the top six as well when everything is done because they're not going to make any roster changes. Ambush with bodies. Archer, multi, multi city Dementos. They have a good chance to be you know, in the top four just because they're not going to make any crazy roster changes and lose their points positioning. Lace here, uh, they have a good opportunity. But if they have a disappointing finish, uh, I could see Logie leaving them to join someone. But they have a chance to be in that top four, um, placing for the major. Um, MC, uh, from what I've seen, Flames tweet out FA, so we don't know what exactly is going on over there. And here's the old team, you know, tragedies. There's the new one, so if they 
somehow kept, you know, the same roster or whatever or whatnot. What they could have done is kept Ottens on the team and put him as coach. Just remove Cardia and, like, made it that way. Uh, that would have been smart because you'd still have her flame be God, right? You remove Cardia to put in Rapids, then you put Nash in as a coach or something, right? And you can still play it as a team. You just drop Ottens after. Just be like, yo, thanks for, you know, staying on the team and whatnot, but you're gone. But, yeah, they could have done that. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anyone else. Uh, that's what it was. Memories. This team they did pretty well. Actually, they lost to Defiance, but it was a close series. I think they got a map off them, so give them props for that. Uh, Phoenix Rising, uh, Hive beat, I mean, Team Queso beat Hive. Um, it was a five-game series. Team Queso reverse swept Hive. Um, e United, I think they 3-1 to rise in this. Um, you're going to have... Pittsburgh Knights and Defiance play each other on Monday. That should be an interesting match. Defiance shown some, uh, what's the word, some competitive fight. You know, they've been losing, you know, 3-2 map count, you know, against Rise and Rebel against the top teams. So they're a very competitive team. Uh, Rebel against Rebel Ladies. Uh, no offense, no-brainer. Rebel should win that. Um... Moving on, there's going to be an EU thing this weekend. Let's see if any more teams signed up. Nope, still for its teams. Worth $5,000. Uh, so, definitely a huge bonus there. Now, let's just get into it with all the tweets and stuff. Um, Taylor, there's the picture he was sent. Um... We'll see who they make next. It looks like Colin Crow Clark. I voted Guy Blaze, but it is what it is. Just because, like, Guy Blaze has all the crazy hairdo and stuff like that. I feel like it'd be a much harder one to do. That's why I voted it. Um, as you see here, Metro Esports, Mayfair had the most kills, Adorize MVP, and Mini highest damage. So, from three different teams, so that's pretty crazy right there. Uh, FYC Esports, they announced their roster. Uh, looks like a LATAM team. They got Enmo, Dietio, and Violence. I don't know. Never really heard of them. Uh, looks like, I guess, that tweet disappeared. Um... KGL for week two, Crack was number one on the list. Um, you had yourself, Crone, Dementos, and then Aimboot. Don't know how this really works or how this even works, but they won't got, you know, the top points for that week two. Uh, Trooper here, he made a, a video. Uh, you guys should check it out. I'll put a link in the description down below. Uh, it was a great video to watch. I'll definitely put that in the link in the description down below. Uh, Fury One finally announces uh, Toxic as their pro player on their team after Jada left them to join Team Queso. They finally made their announcement. Uh, Andrew Moravana, uh, he is back to the Coalition team. Wonder who else is going to be part of that team. Um... Looking forward to seeing what it's going to be like for the new Gears of War game. But definitely gives me worries because the game's supposed to be out 2024 and they say if they're clearing house, like who's really working on the game, to be honest. So that's a worry. Um, Pittsburgh Knights. Uh... They have a make a tweet here. We toppled E United 3 1 in Gears Pro League. So there's that. They always make the little, like, funny tweets. I think they made one with Team Queso eating the cheese. Uh, Dezo. It makes me laugh how people make fun in the Twitch chat when someone misses a bullet 
a drop, rolls badly, etc. They're the same frustrated people who have spent their whole lives trying to be something in their lives. And they're just born to be worth dick. Sad. Your situation. So, just, he's just annoyed of looking at Twitch chat. Uh, I guess he was missing shots. Uh, let's see exploits play of the day. Push up, forcing Rebel back. So, nice little clip from him, uh, King ABZ, content creator, um, so this, this is what I want for Gear 6, variety of options to play multiplayer, and that way you appeal to the wider audience, overrun 2.0, next level horde or horde grief mode, traditional niche multiplayer, experimenting new modes using the universe at the disposal, wingman, but maybe more teams, people have their own grips about the current state of con but having a variety of option to play has kept it more relevant and prominent than before classic multiplayer battle royale rebirth plunder etc lots of play halo just got boring fast and there was nothing else to it 100 percent agree right there <sighs> let's see here uh again the standings again we already saw that Al Gamer Witcho making a tweet how Halo has fallen off with the amount of uh the more likes this tweet has, the more people we're going to make angry with this. So a thousand likes already. Um and at a time there's Halo that had more Apex with eighty eight point two K. So just shows like, you know, the current state of the games. Um, flames again there you guys go the fa tweet see if anyone else tweeted at him nothing too crazy chavi he makes a tweet of his own ggs in relegation is one thing and pro league another random so they had a match against casa de papel and you know <coughs> chavi's team hive that was under wichita wolves at the time and uh what's it called chavi's team which is called the buelos they're still looking for an org so who knows probably won't get an org um but um what's it called the that cast of the Pell team beat chavi in this new system that's happening in the am scene where um it's like it's like basically like a major you got a pool play so there's pool b and a and in that pool a section um chavi's team was against casa de papel and casa de papel beat them so they didn't have to worry about playing them again um the next day for elimination of the top four teams obviously avengers didn't qualify but chavi's team they lost to Hive, went down, beat Avengers, made Pro League. Then, obviously, they beat them. So, they're just saying you're mad good when it doesn't really matter. So, there's that. Um, here's another tweet from Andrew. Showing some energy drink of Gears of War. And that must be an old-ass drink. Um, some action figures as well. Pretty cool. Uh, we got a clip from Demise. Uh, beating E United. On your fear, fear, I think. No, E United being Rise on your fear, which I don't understand. Rise like playing this map, very, very questionable. Usually this is their auto ban, but I guess they wanted to give it a try because it is E days. They already won one E days, so I guess it didn't really matter. So there's that. Uh, pushes here. You made a tweet. Try to throw good stuns on the wide here. 
They're crossing, they're crossing. Is it on my shot? On my shot. Oh, my right. Right. Uh, them finally getting Shirley, their Shirley, first Shirley, dub. Shirley's break, Shirley's break. So basically, they waited it out. He outplays them to get the incense, but then uh, pushies, he outplays them with his movement, dodging one, but not one or uh, two incense. So there's that big, big dub for the guys that gives them some confidence. Uh, e days, as you can see here, E United won this time, uh, beating Rise, but just E days. It's a um, little bit of money, but it's pretty clear that these two teams basically cement themselves into that E days playoffs or whatever it's called that they have every uh, time before the major. Um, so there's that. Um, so yeah, these two definitely lock in their sl spots. Um, Pioneers definitely gets another point, so they have two. Um, Queso gets a point, so they'll have one. I think the Fines had a point, so it's gonna go like six points for these two teams. Queso has one, Pioneers has two, Defiance has one. So it's kind of like that's the standings, and the other teams have zero points. And then you got Rushies here. Okay, this is a funny uh, I think I got clip here. I'm going for Snipe. I, I, I can actually shoot them Rushies. Oh, wow. Rush is wild. Rush, problem, problem, hurt. Problem, hurt. This nigga Rushies. I got two! Oh! <laughs> Nah. Give me one more rush. I got three! <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. That's no, I'm See the stat line. This guy has 10 kills doing that. Um, 9, 9, and 19 from Detox. 19 assists. Holy shit. Krista definitely wasn't having it this series. So there's that. Um... Nothing else special. I'll put a link in the description down below of the Astro Battles, Troopers video, and more. Um, let's just see in here. Exceedings is not FA anymore. Violates not FA anymore. Um, we saw that new roster right here. So hitboxes, solubles, they're not FA anymore. <laughs> Vino, Almighty's, Rapids, they're not as well. Nash. Um, don't know exactly what's going on here. This is a big question mark. Um, this team is not a team anymore as well, I'm assuming. Don't know what's going on with Flames. Um, this team is no longer... A roster. Um, we got Rapids. And... Yeah, we could remove that. We got Rapids and... What's his name again? Nash. There we go. Rapids and Nash. Marshall's no longer on this team. They picked up Violates. So there's that. And I think that's about it. Nothing new special in the AM scene. Basically, Kenny dominates that. It's like easy money for him. Um, and then I think this team is like the second best team, this Latem team, to be honest. Unless there's like some crazy rosters that gets built with like Icy or something on it. Who knows? But that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, this week's uh, esports news, everything that's been going on. Just getting you guys up to date. Um, yeah, that's about it. And uh, peace. Take care.